Hi everyone, this is Brenda here. Welcome to my next episode, day 38 of my Let's Clash series. So let's start the series by watching this 318,000 go available base. Gonna get ticket taken down by me and of course, we're just gonna go ahead to take out the gold mines. Because the gold mines, they are very exposed. So just dropping one archer on the outside to take out those exposed gold mines. At the bottom left there, the Mota managed to take out my archer. So I had to deploy some uh, barbarians then following up by some archers to try to take that out. And then now going ahead to look at the situation as to see uh, whether am I able to take out all the gold from all the gold mines as now we can fairly say that we are not going to be able to take them all out. But as now you can see the elixir uh, is going down too especially when there are some exposed elixir collectors on the top. So just uh, letting my troops going, go ahead to try to take out all of the gold mines. On the left and the right there's one archer on each of the gold mines so just uh, let the archers do their job. Once the gold mine have gone down I'll just uh, end the battle. So just uh, waiting for time to jump just pass and now just left with 45,000 gold on the base. Unable to steal all as mentioned. So going ahead with the very next uh, attack on this 209,000 gold available base. And just going ahead to use my BAM to just go ahead to take it all out. And then of course on the bottom there are also some gold mines and then just uh, going to take them all out now. And of course the Barbarian King is going to be a hassle trying to uh, distract some of my troops, preventing them from uh, attacking the gold mine. But not to worry, once the Barbarian King goes down right now, they're going to go ahead to take out the gold mine. Maybe I could have used some uh, goblins to try to take out the gold mines. Because goblins are favorite uh, buildings will actually be resources, so they will even uh, not attack the Barbarian King, not waste time to actually attack the Barbarian King and just go ahead to take out the gold mine and of course they do double damage on the gold mines also so uh, I might have to change to, uh, to use some goblins when I reach uh, get the goblins to like level 4 or level 5 as I really know that level 6 goblins they are really strong so uh, using them and having them as a Tau Hot hand will be really awesome so I might uh, get them to level 5 as soon as possible so that I could use them when I reach to tower 9. So going ahead to attack this base on the, from the top right and uh, deploying my clan castle which contains the wizards and now the giant is uh, being taken out by the level 1 barbarian king already been taken down and both of them have already been taken down. Now the wizards gonna go ahead to take out that last gold mine on the inside. Uh, wizards taking just a few shots and the gold mine has gone down surrendering and getting us all the loot. So going ahead with the next attack on this uh, almost 300,000 gold base on this tower 8. So yeah, I've still been searching in gold leak. Gold leak has really been awesome. Although you guys are unable to see the leak of those people that I'm currently attacking right now as they do not have a shield or a badge. So now I just have to tell you guys that I'm actually farming at around 1600 to 1800 range as a tower 8. So farming has really been awesome over here. And of course, uh, I do recommend you guys to actually um, farm over here too. As the loot over here is really crazy as you guys can see from my raids, I've been finding such raids relatively easily, not like finding for like 20, 30 over minutes. I roughly take around 5 to 10 minutes of searching and the search time will consist of just purely search time, not uh, consisting of uh, me waiting for my troops to cook. But of course, to in order to uh, reduce the amount of time you guys want to take to actually uh, cook your troops and of course to do more raids more frequently, the way to do it is not to use all your troops uh, for a single raid. You guys can just, uh, like how I'm actually showing you guys now, just uh, deploy your troops at those particular places where you guys want them to actually take out those structures. Like now I'm just focusing on the gold, just taking out the gold mines, not going to use all my troops. And then I drop a barbarian on the left side first to distract the mortar rather than just spamming out all my mortar, so, uh, my, my barbarian, sorry, so that the mortar do not do a high damage on the whole entire group of the barbarians. So now going ahead to find this uh, exposed uh, gold mines base. So there are actually six gold mines that is exposed, taking out the gold mine on the left side first with just one archer. And just following up, just to speed things a little bit up, I'm gonna uh, use a lot of my troops, a uh, lot, but not a lot, but just a few of them. So just going ahead to deploy them so that they actually can take out the structures faster. Although I could have just uh, taken them all out with just uh, archers sniping away and just uh, not be able to uh, get damaged by all those uh, defenses from the inside. They are pretty far away, especially the cannon and also the archer tower that is kind of behind the wall and also many many uh, towers away from them. So they won't get hit but of course it will take quite a while so I do not want you guys to wait. But I could have done some editing but of course I was kind of lazy to do that too. So yeah, just going to hate to surrender and of course getting us all the loot. 
So this base 220,000 gold available is going to be a very easy raid because all the gold is inside the gold mine. That's one. And also the gold mine, they're all situated on the right side, which is just uh, pretty easy to go ahead to take them all because they are all situated together. So now as you can see, the gold are all flowing into my uh, capacity right now. My gold storage is filling up pretty fast. And now the elixir um, ain't really going to matter too much because the elixir is just going to fill up later once I go ahead to do a few more raids when I need to get 50%. So I ain't going to steal the elixir. So going ahead to find this 337,000 gold available base. So I'm going to start the town hall first so that I secure the win. And then proceeding all to look at how I'm going to attack. So the way I'm going to attack this base is I'm not going to take all the loot. I'm just going to take one storage. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you look at the storages, they are all pretty full. So of course, a lot of the loot is inside the storages. And the gold mines, they are pretty empty. So I didn't want to go ahead to attack for the gold mines. So for those of you who are wondering how do I uh, look out for where the loot are, I've already mentioned that on my farming guide video. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can go and check it out. So yeah, basically how i uh, able to track down and notify and tell myself where the loot are located. I look at basically where the loot is. Like now, as I can see that the gold mines, they are pretty full. The gold storages, they are pretty empty. As uh, there ain't any gold inside the gold storages. So I know for sure the 200,000 gold they are inside the gold mines. So I decided to focus my troops on the gold mines over there. Although they are just uh, one uh, wall behind it. And of course, uh, my troops, they are able to shoot over the wall, especially the archers and also the minions flying above the walls trying to take down the gold mines. And of course, securing the one star too from that town hall over there. And then just going ahead with the very next attack on this 432,000 gold available base. So as you guys can see, I mean the loot here in gold lake, this guy is in gold 3. So I managed to find this guy with 432,000 gold available and he's a town hall 7, I'm a town hall 8. So the loot penalty for me is I have a loot penalty of 10% uh, loot penalty. So of course, if I'm actually a Tower 7, I would be able to see him like at around 480,000 gold. Not going to bother too much of the elixir as mentioned. So now as you can see, I'm going to focus on the gold mines first. And then I'm trying to break my way into the base. Although the walls, they were pretty high in level for Tower 7 because they were dark uh, purple crystal walls which are level 7 walls so they are the max level for level 7 but I'm just gonna bust my way through the whole base especially with the help of my barbarian king and also the level uh, 6 wizards and uh, taking out one of the gold storage going ahead to, to take out the second one just left with 41,000 gold and I wouldn't, wasn't able to take out that gold mine over there on the left side I didn't uh, uh, deploy my troops more over there so I was trying uh, desperately to take that uh, go mine out with two of my wizards left but the wizards uh, went down pretty quick and also my barbarian king went down qu pretty qu quick too especially when he's just level one without the ability he wasn't able to recover his uh, health so going ahead with the very next attack on this 227,000 gold base so yeah it's a very easy uh, loot I mean uh, the loot is just all on the outside for you to loot just, just go ahead to spread some of the troops on the outside to take them all out I'm not gonna waste a lot of my troops to try to maybe even one star this base because this is a town hall 9 base so as a town hall 9 there are actually 72 structures on the base so if you want to one star it it's not going to be easy although the town hall is over there but i'm going to lose a lot of troops if i were to go ahead to take it out and then just finding this almost 1 million loot base and yeah you guys can see that the loot here is just a uh, pretty crazy in golik so yeah, I really enjoy farming in Golik, especially when I'm able to find this kind of high loot uh, bases to come and attack. And the tower is just a practically exposed for me to go ahead to snipe. But I was really focusing on the gold mines, didn't even bother to, to even just win the attack. Because uh, even if I drop to say 1550, uh, just as long as I'm above 1550, it should be relatively good enough for me to find uh, good uh, bases to actually attack. So yeah, I didn't have to take down the town hall, but I'm going to go ahead to get the one star because the one star is still possible with the troops attacking. So yeah, I got the one star and of course getting a 300 over 1000 gold from that base. And then after that, finding this really over 1 million loot base to attack on this town hall 8. I mean seriously, the loot here in Gold League is just practically crazy. I mean, I do not know why. Maybe one of the reasons is because a lot of people have uh, dropped down to Bronze League and Silver League and not farming in Gold League. So the loot here in Gold League is practically abandoned. The bases here, 
So of course the loot here is just gonna regenerate on its own once uh, it has regenerated and then nobody is actually taking them all out. Uh, people such as me who are actually farming here in Goli will have the opportunity to actually farm all of it. So yeah, I'm pretty lucky to not actually drop all the way to Bronze Lake as it will take quite a while for me to push back all the way to this lake in Goli. So I really do recommend to you guys to actually farm in Goli as you can see the loot here is really crazy as uh, farming in Goli is really awesome, that's one. And the second reason for doing that is because of the bonus. I mean, if you're farming in Bronze Lake and Silver Lake, the loot there is pretty good, but of course, the bonus there ain't that good. It's just like a few hundred or less than 10,000. But if I were to farm, say, in Gold 1, the bonus itself has really a significant impact. I mean, comparing that, taking into consideration that my capacity is only at 5 million, so yeah, it's really awesome to actually farm in higher leagues. So I'll be pushing my way up, possible to maybe even farm in Crystal 2 once I reach to Town Hall 9. So now I'm going ahead to get my level 5 Arches, which will be ready in 5 days. And of course, getting the level 2 minions will definitely help. But of course, having the cost of the minions to increase also has a toll on my Dark Elixir. But yeah, but not to worry, I'll definitely farm Dark Elixir soon. And going ahead, once uh, my upgrade has completed, my capacity for my goal has increased another million. And going ahead to upgrade my walls, getting most of them to level 8. Majority of them has already reached to level 8. And uh, of course, I will have to slowly calculate my way as not to overspend my goal. And of course, now going ahead to remove an obstacle using my same old method to find a base while I'm actually um, removing an obstacle. And of course, I need to get like a minimum of 550,000. Why I'm actually doing that is because I'm going to use the 500,000 to upgrade one of my uh, building, which is actually the elixir storage, trying to get it to level 11. Once it reaches to level 11, I have an extra 1 million uh, elixir capacity. And with extra 1 million capacity, I'm able to do an extra 1 uh, level 9 wall from level 8 to level 9 once I reach to Tower 9. So that's why I'm really trying to uh, upgrade my storages as quick as possible, trying to get them as high as uh, level as possible so that once I reach to Tower Hall 9, I'll have a high uh, capacity to actually play with. And of course, I'll still have one more storage as in one more gold storage and one more elixir storage to actually uh, get from uh, Tower Hall 9. And of course, I'll be getting them ASAP as soon as possible so that I could actually uh, farm for more walls once I reach to Town Hall 9, especially when the walls on Town Hall 9, they are really hard to farm because uh, they require 1 million uh, gold or elixir to actually upgrade from level 8 to level 9 and then from level 9 to level 10, they actually require 3 million gold per piece which is just uh, totally insane because the increment is just uh, increased by 3 folds so that's something uh, maybe Supercell could actually tweak Maybe uh, they should have uh, made the walls increment uh, increased by say um, 1 million instead of 2 million So they could have uh, made from like level 9 to level 10 wall uh, doing an upgrade on it uh, Would cost like 2 million instead of 3 million So uh, I'm not too sure why Supercell made such a, a crazy increment for a Town Hall 9 But of course Town Hall 10 that would be even crazier when the wall will actually cost 4 million per piece but not to worry, we are definitely going to go ahead to upgrade our walls to level 10 first before we actually stress ourselves on Town Hall 10. And also you guys have also been asking me to farm a little bit more on Town Hall 9. And yes, I will be farming a lot more on Town Hall 9 because I want to farm the walls that's one and also I want to farm for the heroes. The reason why I'm actually getting to Town Hall 9 really quickly is because I want to farm for the heroes so that I could actually farm for the Archer Queen. The Archer Queen is really uh, powerful and I really do want to get her and of course getting her to higher level really takes a long time If you want to get her to the max level possible, which is level 40 at this point of time You will need to wait for 227 and a half day Which is totally crazy, which is actually seven and a half months and uh, To wait seven and a half months to use a level 40 queen is really long So I do want to start the upgrades for the king and queen pretty soon so that I could use them at level 40 as soon as possible. So yeah, going back to my base after doing that raid. Now as you can see, I'm going to upgrade a wall. Upgrading some walls to just spend my wall, my gold. And of course not going to use all my gold, especially when I need 500,000 to upgrade the elixir storage on the left side of the screen now as you can see. So now I'm going ahead to slowly spend my wall, calculating them slowly, not going to rush myself. 
as I do not want to make a mistake that after that I have to sell a flag, although technically I could have done that and then I wouldn't have spent the time to actually do all those raids. But yeah, now I'm going ahead to upgrade my Elixir storage, which will take two days to get another extra 1 million uh, capacity. As now you can see, I've upgraded a lot of my walls and of course getting my level walls uh, to a total of 149. And uh, definitely I'll be farming my walls uh, even more over the weekends, which is just another two more days. So I'll be having a free builder as mentioned in my previous episode as I'll be using the free builder to upgrade the walls and to be able to upgrade the walls even quicker. As now you can see my profile, I've increased my gold grab to above 170 million already. So I'm going to farm a, really a lot more and my elixir escapade is almost uh, 3 star. So hopefully I'll be able to complete it in the next few days uh, before the end of the weekend. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, episode update as much as I have. So if that's it, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my episode and clash on.